Hey there, my favorite scientists. Thank you for joining me here on video two, because we've got work to do. Our instructions say watch this teacher video to create a food chain digitally in Google Slides. Not in the journal today, we're in Google Slides doing a digital food chain. I will show you exactly how to do that, so you'll be ready to do yours next. First, I'll get my tablet out so you can see what I'm going to click. Here's our slides for today, and we are in Thursday. We want the one that's English. Thursday, like fourth th 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 Thursday. Now we're in Thursday. We already had video one. We learned our words. We're ready to work on this food chain, but why can't I move them? We have to do our work in Google Slides. So the first thing you have to click is this button at the top corner that has an arrow and it's leaving this box. Look closely at that icon. We want the square with the arrow leaving, jumping out and going to Google Slides. Once we're here in Google Slides, and we come to the food chain slide. Now, I can click and drag. So let's talk about how would this food chain go? What order does it go in? We know it's a food chain, and we have one, two, three, four, five boxes to fill in. The arrows show which way it's going, so it begins right here. Think for a second. Remember, every food chain begins with the what? The snake. Yes or no? Mm -mm -mm. Every food chain begins with the grass. Yes or no? Mm -mm -mm. Every food chain begins with the what, my boys and girls? The sun. Beautiful. I'm going to click it once and then drag it to the correct box. Now that we have the sun, we have to think the sun gives energy to what? Does the sun give energy to a frog? Yes or no? Does the sun give energy to the grass? Yes or no? Does the sun give energy to a snake? Yes or no? Or the grasshopper? Yes or no? What do you think? The sun shines down and gives the light to a plant to create its own food. Which one of these is a plant that could create its own food? Ding, 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 ding. Did you say grass? You get smarter every day. Click it once, then drag it to the right spot. Let's check our work. We have the sun shining on the grass. Now the grass is going to give its energy to who? Do you think a frog would eat grass? Do you think a snake would eat grass? Or do you think a grasshopper would eat grass? A grasshopper eats grass. Grass, 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 grass. You got it. The smallest insect is going to go first in our food chain after the grass. Out of all three of these animals, he's definitely the smallest one. So he's going to be the prey. Remember the word prey? What predator is going to prey on my grasshopper? Think about that. We have a frog and we have a snake. Hmm. Let me see what you think. Raise your hand if you think a frog. Would eat a grasshopper. Raise your hand if you think a snake would eat a grasshopper. I'm looking for those hands. Did you say frog or snake? Frog! I see all those hands for frog. You are so smart. The frog is going to eat the grasshopper. The grasshopper ate the snake. I mean, the grass. And the grass got energy from the sun. We only have one box left, and this is the top most ferocious fret predator of all the chain. Who's going to eat that frog? Let me hear you say it. The what? Snake. Click it once. Drag it over. Now, let's check. Did we get it right? The sun gives energy to the grass. Mm -hmm. Grass gives energy to a grasshopper. Mm -hmm. A grasshopper gives energy to a frog. Mm -hmm. And the frog gives his energy to who? S the snake. Did we get it right? Let's check our work. Ta-da! 
Look, two slides. The next one checks you. You got it right. Bravo, bravo. Thank you for your help. Now you are on your own. I'm not going to do the next one with you or for you. After you've done this one, practice. You checked your answers with me on the next one. You will see the final slide with these, oh, the windows, the lights making a glare, with these yellow instructions. They say, please complete the following food chain digitally. Exactly like we just did this one together. Now you have one to do without me. Down here you have the frog, the sun, the grass, the snake, and the grasshopper. Remember, you click once to outline your picture, then drag to put an order. Click it once and drag. 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 All right, I dragged them all in the right place. Did I get it right? Take your time, slow down, check and make sure. Could that really eat that? Can he really give energy to him? Make sure your chain makes sense. The predator, the biggest predator at the top, something always at the beginning. Make sure you've done your best work. Then your slide will save automatically. You're able to click this little word that says classroom. Go back to your classroom. You can see your work saved. Exit out and then blue button to turn it in. It's only one chain to do by yourself. Take your time. Make sure you've done your best food chain work you can. Tomorrow, you'll be on your own to make more chains digitally. Take a breath. Time for you to click out to that Google slide and start dragging and dropping. See you tomorrow, my little snakes.